all right so we're about to go and react to this new dragon ball super 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 superhero trailer because apparently that is uh a thing is it like a minute long is that is this, is this the right one uh here it is this is uh looks legit 57 seconds long another teaser i'm surprised to be honest i'm not gonna lie because by now especially if it's coming out in april from what i understand shouldn't they have had like a longer trailer not like they went from 15 to like a little bit longer now it's like a minute long all right well let's see This really does look like a video game. Super Hero. I think he just said, like, I am a superhero. If, I'm, if I have my. Uh... Whoa, Gohan! Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, is, what is going on here? Oh! Oh, yeah! Let me see some! Ah! Alright, bet. Okay. It's a teaser. It's a little more of a teaser, rather. Let's go, let's go, let's go watch that a little bit. It's a little bit slower. Why don't we? So my question is, why did they decide to put Gohan back in the original fit? You know what? They just want people to watch the movie. They, 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 realistically, they just want people to freaking watch the movie because that is, that is a clear question. Why? Why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out because honestly, they're really, I mean, yeah, like that's right, that, right there. That, that makes perfect sense. He's probably training with Piccolo at some point. Probably put it on just to, you know, as, as a little reminiscing moment or whatever. So I got the volume off right now so that we could, you know, pay attention to the details and whatnot. Try to see if we spot anything now that, you know, this is in slow motion. In a sense. Oh, look, that was the, this is the part right here where Goku's fighting with Broly. This is probably where he's there. Oh, yeah, you saw him. You saw him right here. Look, ooh, boom, there he is. There's our boy trying to crash down on Goku. So right now, the, the, the basis of this movie is that everybody's training, right? Goku's training with Broly. Gohan's training with Piccolo. And then they're showing us a little bit more with Gohan in this next part. And it's interesting just because of the fact that right there, okay, during this scene, something must be going wrong in order for them to send Gohan in because, you know... It's some sort of a threat, a threat nonetheless. Here comes Gohan. And look at that. My man has the freaking adolescent or the, the you know, the, the adult Gohan glasses kept on. His hair looks a little different to, uh, it kind of, it's like, it's really almost like they're just trying to get everybody to pop right now. They're like, oh yeah, let's make him look like he did when he was a kid. But then, but, but obviously... He's an, he's a he's a father at this point. So let's let's leave the glasses on, right? That's that's probably what's going on here. And uh there, there's something going on. Look, you see this whole thing of, of of people here. You know, this red ribbon army, they're outside this building right now, and Gohan's fighting this dude for some reason. He must have did something. You know what? I have a feeling I know exactly what's going on here. This guy, he freaking berated Piccolo's space. Okay, he freaking intruded on this dude's property up in the mountains, literally up in the mountains. He probably defeated Piccolo and Gohan is seeking out revenge. That is, cool. oh man, that is typical. Okay, and that, that makes the most sense here. Because why else would Gohan go to fight this guy? Okay, so he's probably fighting him out of revenge to seek, uh, you know, he's trying to avenge Piccolo. From this backdrop right here. Yeah, Goku and Vegeta are clearly... They, these are scenes where they must be training off-planet or something. You know what would be crazy? Is if Goku and Vegeta weren't even actually involved with the plot of the movie. They were just there. Like, they just they were just there in training sequences, which is really weird. But I don't know if, if, if I'm right on that. But we can at least see that they're training there. So now they're just going back and forth between all these shots. 
pan they probably got pan in this trailer just to show you guys that she's in her her finally in her early stages of training now more more gohan scenes in the rain yo the the epic rain scene yo what is it with rain and gohan nah i'm just playing that's just me just trying to find anything going on but yeah man these graphics these 3d this 3d art style i'm not gonna lie every time i see it i'm not gonna not acknowledge how much of a video game cinematic you know kind of look that it has and i'm not really i'm not really it's not really clear as to why they're even doing this in the first place but this is the part that's most interesting and i feel like is that they're really making it like go on like 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 like, like here, put it this way right it's almost as if like and this is kind of a far stretch they're making this film as if this took place right after cell or right you know like during the time when gohan was still like the main character like he was the focus because the, right now that's what i'm getting out of this trailer like he is is he the focus is he the superhero probably to pan that's probably the whole thing that he gohan's hero is piccolo Pan's hero is Gohan, so on and so forth. I don't know. This could be a stretch, but this scene right here, they're just, they're really trying to, they, they, right here, this is, this is for fans that are kind of similar to me where they're just like really sleeping on this movie and they don't really have too much to, to, to look forward to because it doesn't really seem like much of a movie that people should really pay too much attention for but see the fact that they even have a scene where we got gohan powering up is he gonna access a new super saiyan level is he gonna do something all brand new because he's powering up from like you know his base his super saiyan super saiyan 2 whatever and there's the official date april 22nd in japan at least i'm not sure if this is a worldwide release at all it's very cool that the trailer even exists right now i mean because jump fest is currently going on at the time of you know this recording but uh i need to see more just like uh you know chat says right now i need to see more because that's not enough still even like i i just think them showing us these gohan scenes is kind of like the way I'm deciphering it is they want us to be more interested in some way and, and, and throwing in Gohan in there after not really using him all that much for really anything for a while is going to get people talking. So I guess they got us with that. But other than that, I still need to see more. It's December now. This movie is going to come out in five months. Four. Four. Pretty much four-ish months. Four-ish to five-ish months. Hopefully it doesn't come out that much later um from the japanese release but we'll have to wait and see i guess